थ्री टू वन जीरो This is a classic underdog story. In 1962, when a team of young Indian scientists wanted to launch a satellite, they carried parts of the rocket on a bicycle. The rocket was also launched off a bullock cart. These images go viral every time there is a successful launch by India's space organization ISRO. Back then, ISRO was just a spark in the mind of the father of India's space program, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. To the launch event of India's prestigious LVM-3 M4 Chandrayaan-3. Three, two, one, zero. In recent years, ISRO has become a household name. Over a thousand people had gathered to watch the Chandrayaan-3 launch at the Satish Dhawan Space Centre, while over two million people were watching it live on ISRO's YouTube channel alone. Whether it is a groundbreaking launch like the Mangalyaan mission or a heartbreaking one like the Chandrayaan-2, ISRO brings together the countrymen from across the divide, a spectacle which is otherwise only visible when the Indian cricket team plays Pakistan. The picture of a man cycling around with a rocket cone on the carrier clipped by the great Henry Cartier-Bresson signifies the humble beginnings of ISRO. The cycling man is rocket scientist C.R. Satya. Another viral picture is of APJ Abdul Kalam from the 1960s, a man who would go on to become the missile man of India and also the president. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai and Homi J. Bhabha are widely credited for boosting India's space program. It is not accidental. That on the soil of India, the great space powers, the United States, the USSR, and France, are collaborating with us at the equatorial range near Tumba. However, it wasn't as easy as it sounds. Sarabhai and Homi Bhabha felt the dire need for India to have its own space program at a time when the US and the Soviet Union were competing in a race to the moon. Homi Bhabha, who was then the director of the Department of Atomic Energy, pursued it Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru on the matter. And then, in 1962, the Indian National Commission for Space Research was established under Nehru. It was eventually superseded by the Indian Space Research Organization in 1969. The story of Homi Bhabha, Bikram Sarabhai, and India's space program was portrayed in the recent web series Rocket Boys. In 1975, with the help of the Soviet rocket launch, ISRO launched India's first satellite, the Aryabhatta, into space. Not many years later, Rakesh Sharma became the first and only Indian to venture into space. His exciting conversation from space with then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi is etched in the hearts of all Indians. How do you see Bharat from above? Without any doubt, I can say <laughs> the journey to space that started on a cycle could not have reached such heights without any roadblocks. In 1993, the U.S. blocked a critical cryogenic deal, which became a major hindrance in the growth of India's space program. While ISRO was scaling, America's technology block forced India to indigenize. PM Narasimha Rao went around the globe announcing that India would build its own cryogenic engines. which the isro scientist proudly did an ode and an example of india's innovation and jugaad it was this innovation that also led to india becoming the only nation to reach mars in its very first attempt the mission mangalyaan was launched by isro in november 2013 at a meager budget of rupees 450 crores which is less than the budget of the american movie the martian a movie that showed the exploration of life on Mars. The success of the Mangalyaan mission also made India the first Asian country to reach Mars, despite China's multiple high-budgeted attempts. Since inception, ISRO has carried out 124 spacecraft missions, 92 launch missions, and several planned missions, including the Gaganyaan and Mangalyaan 2. चंद्रयान थ्री को सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिया गया है इलेक्ट्रिकल पार्किंग ऑर्बिट पर नाउ विद द सक्सेसफुल लॉन्च ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री इसरो हैज वन सेकेंड प्रूवन इट्स मेटल टू मेक इंडिया अ स्पेस पार 
with India projected to surpass the US economy by the end of the 21st century, ISRO will play a key role in space exploration and even enable humans to become fully interplanetary by the next century, glimpses of which can be seen in the Gaganyaan mission. India's space journey can be traced from a cycle to Chandrayaan, but the spirit to dream is incredible. Drop your thoughts on India's space mission in the comments below.